Pastor Dan Zilstra of Athens Christian Reformed Church, and I just thought I would share uh, some devotions with you this morning. Uh, this is from a book that I love and I use regularly for my own devotions called Seeking God's Face, Praying with the Bible Through the Year, um, and what it has is it just has some scriptures and some thoughts and some prayers for us to read through and think about. This is a really, really busy time, and we're being inundated with more information than ever before, and a, a lot of the information we're getting these days is pretty worrying, and... Uh, and that's, it's good information, it's important information to have, but it's also important for us to, to just slow down and to um, remember what the Bible says, uh, to be still and know that I am God. And so um, this, this devotional starts off with an invitation every time, every, uh, every day. And the invitation for today comes from 2 Peter 3, verse 9. And I invite you to just take a breath and listen to God's invitation to us. The Lord is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. The Lord is patient with us, with you, and with me. The next thing that this devotional has is a Bible song. Every day there's, a, there's portions of a, a psalm or some other biblical song. And today's portion is from Psalm 25, verses 1 to 3, and 16 to 22. Just take a breath again and... And listen to these words. Let them wash over you. Listen and see what God might be saying to you. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me put, be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over you. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame. But shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Turn to me, and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart, and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress, and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies, and how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Redeem Israel, O God, from all their troubles. For me, I picture our enemies as being all these virus molecules or whatever they are, viruses, with their you know battle gear on and, and seeking to attack us, enemies that will cause us uh, affliction and distress. And I, I see all of us in, in uh, our social isolation, some of us stuck at home, and others uh, just carrying on but in a much more limited capacity and I see that our trust and comfort has to be in God really I mean I'm so grateful for all those front frontline workers who are taking care of so many people and working so hard to do uh, what is good uh, ultimately it is God who is our, our true, sure rock on which we stand. 
The next section of these devotions comes from Luke chapter 8 verses or 18, excuse me, verses 9 to 14. And every day there's a little uh, reading from some other portion of the Bible that's not a song like we just read. And so again, just invite you to sort of uh, take a breath and listen. You might um, you might notice or, or pay attention to how God might be speaking to you in uh, this passage. Maybe there's a word or a phrase that pops out in your mind. Don't just dismiss it. Maybe, maybe God is saying something to you. Just uh, sort of mull on what is coming out of the scriptures. Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves be exalted. The word of the Lord. Let's sort of chew on that today, um, throughout our day. Just remember that we are, really, the tax collectors, all of us. God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Let's pray. Loving Father, let me hear your gracious call, not in preening religiosity, comparing myself with others, but in desperate humility, casting myself on your mercy. As I pray, God have mercy on me, a sinner, so may I live this day justified and free in the life-giving power of your Spirit. Amen. Now, Receive God's blessing as you go out on this day. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.